Hey guys, what's up? Uh, let me draw your attention for a little bit. Today we're gonna go over a tattoo design of a butterfly in profile. I'm gonna go over it in two different layers and I'm gonna talk my, uh, I'm gonna talk you all the way through it from beginning to end. So this is for beginners step by step. So if you've never drawn before, this is perfect. If you never designed before, I'm gonna go over a few elements of design. So pay attention, stay with me, and you know, it'll be fun. So let's get let's get going. I'm gonna be using this. This is a Faber Castell PITT artist pen. Uh, it's pretty much just a thin, really thin pen brush, brush pen kind of thing. Uh, you can buy similar things, or you can even do it with something like this, like a magic marker. Um, so let's go over this. Like right now, what I want is I'm gonna start with my placement. My placement is the most important thing. So I'm gonna create a layer that I'm gonna go over and I will talk about this every step of the way. So I want the general shape of my design to be within this uh, kind of triangular form. And I want the butterfly's head over here and I want it to be flying away. To create those designs, I, I, I don't want it to get away from me in the overall shape. So that's why I'm creating this triangle. Uh, to kind of keep it within. So what I'm gonna do with this, knowing that, is I'm gonna throw that under a sheet of paper. This paper is 11, uh, sorry, eight and a half by 11, regular printing paper. You can buy this in massive bulk. Uh, and this will last you six months, it could even last a year, depending on how much you draw. For me, it's lasted six months and I draw constantly. So eight and a half by 11, uh, printing paper, normal, just normal paper. So now, I don't know if you can tell on camera, I might have, you know, you might not be able to, but I can vaguely see that triangle I drew for that framework. And it's just gonna be a loose guideline for where I want things to kind of pull back to, to kind of keep me on track. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna create the head of the butterfly. And I'm gonna pull out, and that would be the antenna, the antennae. Pull down for the body. Curl here. And this is kind of where I'm creating uh, just kind of designerly shapes that I like. Uh, thick to thin lines. Now at the back I'm going to create the top part of the wing. And I am following that flow vaguely, you have to understand that, like a framework. Curl. Another curl. Another curl. I'm still kind of thinking about that framework overall, that triangle. Pulling another. Pulling another. And I'm going to pull all the way down. So that vague triangle guided kind of how far I take these uh, kind of bulbous shapes. So, so I'm gonna take that out and you can kind of see it there in comparison. I'm gonna take that out now that I have that framework down. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into the actual line itself and I'm going to get a thick to thin curve. Get that thick to thin so I can manipulate the line any way I want. I can even throw a kind of a, a stronger base on here for the body. Give this line a little bit more thickness, thick to thin. Do the same thing over here, thick to thin. thin over here as well.
stick to thin there as well. I'm actually gonna thicken out the main line going down to kind of give the body some volume. And that's pretty much all I want right now. I can kind of keep adding to that. Like, I, it's really a decision maker. Like, when you're designing, it really is all up to attractive decisions and, and kind of your style and what you want to bring to it. What is your vision of uh, the same butterfly design you see everywhere? What is What, what do you want to bring to it that your own, your own flavor? But that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this design. I hope you enjoyed kind of this uh, little lesson uh, and I hope that you know you're a little bit uh, more aware of like just things in art uh, after this tiny lesson. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget if you did enjoy this, uh, I give out a uh, ebook uh, entirely on the skull. The skull is literally one of the most important things you can ever do in portraiture. Uh, obviously, you can draw amazing, cool skull designs for concept art, for tattoos, for anything. Uh, but it's also one of the most important important things when drawing a portrait. So when you draw the portrait, you're looking at someone's chin, their brow, right? Right above their brow line, the thickness of their forehead, all that. That is all the skull you are looking at that is dictated by the skull. Same thing with the tooth cylinder. And you can tell when someone doesn't know the skull. You can tell. So I wanted to kind of get over that, so I made an ebook. It's a seven page ebook. It's entirely on the mistakes uh, people usually make and it's also it goes over the parts of the skull and just a general like, you know uh, One two three four of creating a skull and I think there's a lot of value in that it's two dollars It is on my patreon. I'm gonna link it below it, when you donate two dollars you get that for free e like immediately obviously it's a donation So it's like a two dollar thing um, But that book is made to be printable. It's just just a, a lot of value and thank you so much for the people that have already gotten it and have kind of told me some great things. So I do, I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, and that's it. Maybe one day I'll make it a product, like a straight up product and sell it for like 20 bucks or something. But for now it's $2. Check that out in the link in the description. Uh, you know, just go on the, my Patreon. Uh, it says 18 and over. I don't know why it says that. There's nothing on that it's 18 and over. So just kind of bypass that and uh, that's it. Thank you so much guys. I will see you in the next video. Stay. Arty? I'm gonna try that as a phrase. Stay arty.